All right, on to the NFL. Uh, season's going to start on Thursday. We got Ravens Chiefs. Who you got in that game? I'm going to go Chiefs. Um, I'm going to go Ravens. I think it's a close spread, like three three points, if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, like, just, just straight yeah. up. Like, no, 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 no I know. I think I'll take the Chiefs. Okay. Um, I think it is easy for, for teams, like, when they're celebrating, like, a championship to kind of be a little hungover a little bit. Yeah. You know, not literally, but figuratively. Uh, who knows? Maybe they'll be drinking the night before. Um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, uh, and of course the Ravens, we expect them to be very good once again. But, yeah, I think I'll, I'll go Chiefs. Okay. Patty? Also, also we need to mention what we're drinking. Yeah. We, we totally missed that. We, you, we like, like you said, we're rusty. Yep. Um, we had some beers just a little bit ago, but... Well, wait, are you finished? Yeah. Almost. Um, but we are drinking a little, like, vodka, Aperol, lemon juice, club soda thingy. It's fantastic. Yeah, nice refreshing cocktail. The, you know, days of summer are, they're dwindling. Not many left. Already? Mm-hmm. we got about, uh, 20 days left of summer, so. Gotta appreciate them while we got them. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, your Cowboys, they open up in Cleveland, right? On, uh, on yeah. Sunday? Yeah, they do. It's an afternoon game, yes. right? And, of course, Niners, uh... At home against the Jets on Monday Night Football, That'd first be, Monday Night game of the year. That'd be a good one. Are they doing a double Monday Night this year or I not? I can't remember. Think I don't think they are. So. I Jets, don't even think Jets, about that. Jets Niners. I just don't. I mean, what ha- I, the fact that they're having the Jets play on Monday Night again to start the season, like last <laughs> year, like, when Aaron Rodgers. Well, of course, like they definitely went for the narratives here. You know, Aaron Rodgers playing against the Niners, which has always been, you know, interesting over the years and. And being a Bay Area guy. And the only Monday game is Niners-Jets. Yep. Also, just the fact that the Niners now have Leonard Floyd, who was the guy who sacked him and injured him last year. <laughs> also mean. ironic. And Got, the NFL knows what they're doing. I love irony, and they, they nailed it on this one. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, of course, this is the last episode we're doing before the start of the season. And like you mentioned in the intro, we have been... <laughs> yes, We it are is. doing our season predictions... Uh, that was easy. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, I guess, you know, it's the episode, okay. <laughs> it's there. Yeah, we're here. Uh, do you want to start us off with uh, your AFC playoff team? I would prediction? love to. Let's get it going. So in the AFC, I have the Ravens as the one seed. Okay. Chiefs as the two seed. I got the Jets as the three seed. Oh, I think right. I think I'm a little higher on the Jets than I probably should be, but it's okay. For me, that division was the most unpredictable. Or yeah, most difficult yeah. to predict, anyways. Texans at four, so I got those are the four division winners. Gotcha. Five seed, I have the Bengals. Six, Dolphins. And I'm putting the former San Diego Superchargers <laughs> at number seven. Nice. I think well, that was that's also a stretch. But you know how the NFL is. Like, it's it's hardly, you hardly ever see the same teams every year make oh, the Oh, for sure. And I was when I was doing mine, I was like, I feel like I need yeah. to add another team in there that didn't yeah. make it last year, but I couldn't do it. So that means from last year, I had the Bills missing the playoffs. Sorry, Dev. Oh, yeah. Been Browns missing the playoffs and the Steelers. <clears throat> Fair. I think we, we have some similarities here. My AFC playoff teams, I got some surprises, and I'm, I'm also doubling down on my bold prediction. And I don't know if you remember it from the spring Michael. when Jim Harbaugh was hired. But I do have the, San Diego, or the former San Diego <laughs> Superchargers, now the LA Chargers, winning the AFC West. Yes. They're going to be actually be my two seed. I have the Cincinnati Bengals being my one seed that this is, year. That is a bold take. Um, back in, yeah, I'm backing up my prediction with the Chargers as the two seed, winning 12 games. Damn. Three seed. I have them winning, sorry. Probably nine or eight or ten, maybe. Nine. Nine, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I, I know I'm going a little out of... No, uh, you're, yeah. you're, you're a hardball but, slipper. But, it's okay. <laughs> but I also no. told myself this year, no hedging. No hedging. If, uh-huh. if I'm sticking to something, if I'm making a prediction, I'm going with it. I'm also not going to just, like, intentionally bet against the 49ers this year mm. like like yeah. I've done in the past. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, so, I like that. Yes. Sticking to my guns. Um, you got to – it's just – it's a feeling. It's a feeling. It's a little bit of a pride thing. Yeah. That's why with the Chargers, it's like I – it's just a feeling. Yeah. Because I originally, I originally had the Browns winning 10 games. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to drop them to 9-8. and eight Yeah. And then have the Chargers make the playoffs. Yeah. Fair. I like it. So, yeah, Chargers two seed. I got the Houston Texans at my three seed. Okay. And the Buffalo Bills, I still got them at the top of the yeah. AFC East. It was a tough – that was the toughest division, like I said, to, to make a call on, but I got them winning it. Um, my three wild card teams, I got the Chiefs as my five seed, of course. Like, they're not going to get the playoffs. <laughs> Even though I don't have them winning the division, which I should be. Unless 
There's injuries. Yes. But uh, we don't account for that. Exactly. Can't predict injuries. So they're five seed. Baltimore, I have them at the sixth seed. And then my final wildcard team is going to be the New York Jets. Okay. Rogers. Okay. I like that. All right. Let's, uh, let's hear your NFC playoff teams, my friend. NFC playoff teams. One seed, of course. Are you surprised? San Francisco 49ers. All right. You're I have them winning, I have winning 13 games. Okay. I know things are a little weird with Trent Williams <clears throat> and Ricky Pearsall and everything else, but <clears throat> they know how to win regular season games. Yeah. Eagles win the NFC East. They're my two seed. Packers are my three seed. They win the NFC North. I like it. <laughs> it's tough. I wanted to pick them too, but I couldn't get myself to. Okay. Uh, the Falcons, my four seed, win the NFC South. I just don't see... Like I feel like they have to win. On paper, it, it's kind of similar to how I felt about the Saints last year. Exactly. Like they looked on paper like the best team. Yeah. They didn't turn out to be the no, best team. No. But, yeah. Uh, five seed Lions, six seed Rams, and then I mean I didn't want to do this, but I looked at my list, which I do. I go through every team tally. I have, I have the Cowboys at seven, but I really don't think I don't think the Cowboys are going to make the playoffs. Really? But I have them as my seventh seed based off of what I did tally wise. I still think on paper they are still a playoff team. Like I think you'd, I I could understand like they're definitely not. They don't look as good as they did last year, mm-hmm. but it's not like the NFC is a crazy good conference now. I mean I know things changed quickly, but um, yeah, I, I I agree with you. I still have them in the playoffs. So that means I only have the Bucks not making it from last year, which I don't love the look of that because I know how things can work. Right. But I, so that's what it is. We have the exact same playoff teams in the NFC, just in a little bit different order. Okay. Yep. Okay. My one seed in the NFC is actually going to be the Eagles. They, I have them having the best record in the in the NFL. How actually, many this wins? Year. Thirteen wins. Okay. I have I have a twelve. So twelve. Yeah. Um, I feel like they're going to bounce back this year. Okay. Uh, after I mean they picked up Saquon. I think that's a nice weapon yeah. uh, in the backfield. Um, and Nick Sirianni, like if he doesn't produce this year, he could be on the hot seat. So pressure's on. I think Jalen Hurts bounces back too. My two seed is going to be the Detroit Lions um, okay. out of the NFC North. Three seed 49ers. I got them still wow. winning the division. How many wins? Uh, I got them at 11, which is what I predicted, I believe, when we did our, uh, yeah. when we looked over the schedule when yeah. it was released. Yeah. And, and uh, similarly, I have the Atlanta Falcons as my four seed and winning the NFC South. My three wild cards I got the Green Bay Packers at the five seed, the Cowboys at the six seed, and the Rams at the seven seed. Yeah. Yeah. I got. I mean, I have the Cowboys and Rams the same record, ten and seven. But I just I gave the edge to the Cowboys in yeah. This, yeah. this case. Yeah. Uh, AFC wild card round. So I have obviously the Ravens would have the the bye. Right. I had the two seed Chiefs against the seven seed Chargers. I got. Yeah, you know, I'm picking the Chiefs. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that's. I, that's I gotta bet. do that. I gotta do that. Uh, the three seed Jets against the six seed Dolphins. I don't think Tua could go to New York in the cold and win. I don't know if it's it'd be cold regardless. Yeah. So I'm picking the Jets. Yeah. Four seed Texans versus five seed Bengals. I really struggled with. That's a good matchup on paper. It is, but I think I'm gonna have the Texans win. Okay. I think they're a better team on paper than like the Bengals it. are. That's what I'm rolling with. So it, it's chalk on this side, which I don't love. Yeah, you didn't have any road teams winning that one. Yeah. No, I, I don't love it, but it's just you know I look at it and I'm like yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, so uh, in my two versus seven matchup, it's going to be Chargers versus the Jets. You know, as much as I stock as I put in the Chargers this season, um, I'm going to take the Jets to pull yep. the upset in this game. Yep. Uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers got plenty of playoff experience. I've seen him come up short plenty of times, but uh, maybe the AFC Championship might be different for him than the NFC Championship. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I got the Jets pulling the upset there in the three six matchup. That's going to be Houston at home versus the Ravens. I'm going to take the Houston uh, Texans to uh, wow. get get a little revenge from last year. Wow. I mean, being the home team, you know, they're a little bit older. Yeah. A little bit wiser. Um, and then in the 4-5 matchup, it's going to be actually Buffalo at home against Kansas City in this case. But Mahomes, he's going to be Josh Allen. Come on. Let's be real. Sorry, Dev. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I he, mean, he owns them. Let me, ask, let me ask her through this. What's yeah. worse? The Bills missing the playoffs on my part or the Bills losing to the Chiefs on your part? Once again. <laughs> what do you think would be worse in her opinion? I don't Probably. think she'd like to see the Chiefs lose again in the playoffs. I mean, sorry, the Bills lose again to the Chiefs in the playoffs. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think she'd rather miss the playoffs mm-hmm. than lose to Kansas City again. Right. And I wouldn't blame her. Yeah. Wouldn't blame her I, at I'm all. with you on that. Uh, NFC wildcard round, what you got? NFC wildcard. Uh, here we go. So Niners one seed, of course. We got the bye. I have the two-seed Eagles against my seven-seed Cowboys, which would be 
really fun. <laughs> but I got the Eagles beating the Cowboys because, you know, it's the Cowboys. Yep. Three seed Packers against the six seed Rams. I got the Packers beating the Rams. I just, like, it's kind of like the Dolphins going to New York. Fair. Rams yeah. going to Lambo and Lambo and the cold. Yep. Yep. You know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, yeah, it's just, you know, Miami, LA, right. sunny. Yep. You're not really built for it. Going to uncharted territory. You're not built for it. And yeah. the same thing with the Cowboys, too. I mean, I know they play in Philly every year, twice a year, <laughs> and that whole thing. But yep. No, and then I have a four seed Falcons against a five seed Lions, and I have the Lions beating the Falcons. Okay. They're a little more experienced. They are. Dome game. Yeah. Better better as a unit. Yep. They, they had got a lot of yeah. uh, experience from last yeah, year's exactly. round. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. All right, good. What about you? On my side, so I have obviously the Eagles as one seed. They're they're moving on. Two versus seven game. That's going to be Detroit hosting the Rams once again, like they did last year in the first round. And I got Detroit coming up again with the W. Sorry, Stafford. Sorry, Stafford. Yep. Uh, <laughs> this sets up for the three six game in Niners Cowboys. Oh my God. In Santa Clara, I'm going to take the Niners to of win course. that one. Yep. As much as like it feels like the Cowboys would be due in that matchup, no. not this year. No. Not yet. Uh, in the four five game, that's going to be Atlanta hosting the Packers. I'm going to take the Packers to go in there and pull the upset. Yeah, you know, Kirk Cousins, pretty solid regular season mm. quarterback. Mm. Playoffs, not so much. Yeah, so so Packers are going to be my my only road team in the NFC taking a victory in the first round. Okay. AFC divisional round. They got the one seed Ravens against the four seed Texans. Going Ravens. Like it. A dome team. That's going. a that's a rematch in the divisional round from last year, right? Yeah. Yep. Dome team going to the outdoor cold team. Baltimore. Yeah. That's I think, good. I, I mean, I'm a, I'm on Baltimore. Yeah. So. I like it. Uh, two seed Chiefs against the three seed Jets. I think that would be. I mean, I think the NFL would love. Oh yeah. The Mahomes. That matchup. Rogers. I think it'd be awesome. State Farm. <laughs> yeah, that's it. State Farm. Well, I don't know if Aaron Rodgers still does State Farm. I don't know if either of them do anymore. Yeah, Mahomes may not yeah. either. Uh, Chiefs. It, they just they win playoff games. Yeah, it's, they do. it's hard to beat them. So like, he he's never not gotten to the AFC Championship game, at least. That's right? insane. Yeah, it's insane. So yeah, I'm with you on that. So my uh, divisional round matchups in the AFC are going to be the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, one seed hosting the Jets. Yeah. I'm going to take the, the Bengals in that one. At home, I think it's uh, it's Joe Burrow's year to bounce back. Okay. Um, you were really high on the. On the, the I Bengals. ran I ran with him last year. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything yet, but. Here we are. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the five-seeded Chiefs going into Houston. Okay. I mean, it's Patrick Mahomes. Like I just said, he goes to AFC Championship games. He's going to find himself in another one this year. He's got him pulling the upset, so to speak, in Houston. Yeah. Uh, NFC Divisional Round. One-seed Niners, five-seed Lions. It's a rematch of the championship game, which That's was right. a fantastic game. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't love the outcome, but it was a, it was a great game. It was, it was a great game. Unbiased, a, it was a great game. Hell of a comeback. Uh, Niners get the best of the Lions again. I Hopefully Dan Campbell doesn't get the axe. <laughs> oh, that would be ridiculous. Right, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Franchise is as best yeah. as it's ever been, and he just... Right. Yeah, that would be uh, stupid. And then the two-seed Eagles, three-seed Packers. I'm actually going to pick the Packers. Ah. I'm going to pick the Packers. I like it. I'm going to pick Packers, yeah. I, I was... After watching the Packers really get hot at the end of last season, I, I was high on them, too, coming yeah. into this year. Yeah. All right, so uh, in the NFC on, on my end, uh, I got the... Uh, Eagles hosting the Packers in the one versus five matchup. You know, given that I have the Eagles uh, as my one seed, mm-hmm. best team in record wise in the NFL, I got to take them to win this game. I think it'd be it'd be an interesting one on paper. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Eagles to to win that one. Okay. And then I got Detroit hosting the Niners in the in the other game, and I actually got the Lions. You don't the believe that. I mean, I I think there is. Some room for regression in, on the Niners side this year, and, and Detroit gave them a real run for their money last year. I do think, I do think you know, winning the Super or losing, sorry, winning, sorry, yeah. sorry, wow, <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks, yeah. uh, <laughs> losing the Super Bowl and you know going back, it's it's it is incredibly tough. Yeah, I think it you know, yeah it doesn't get any easier, and they've had a pretty noisy off season, yeah. which is not great. Um, so me even like I think I could have even gone crazy and said anyone make the playoffs. I didn't do oh, that. No, you I didn't do that. Come on, dude. I didn't do that. But we'll see what happens. Um, I drank that really quick. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you're making me feel like I need to suck mine down. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think the I, I think the NFC was really tough for me. I, I did not who know who I wanted to go with mm-hmm. as my uh, as my representative. 
But uh, yeah, I got the Lions moving on to play the Eagles in the uh, championship game. Okay. Yeah. Lions Eagles. That's, yeah. That's a you know NFL doesn't want that all East Coast. Yeah, I mean, I think it'd be I think it'd be a fun matchup. Yeah. Yeah, Eagles I, fans are. And you know, me even saying that the NFL they, doesn't, it doesn't. They don't care. They they don't care because they're going to get people to watch it. Right. Anyway. So I, I, I think as them. long as you have, um, like, I think the Lions. I could argue. You could argue like they're not really sexy because they don't have like yeah. big names like Jared Goff's their quarterback. <laughs> you know, but the Eagles like they got Jalen Hurts. They've been to the Super Bowl, and you know, Philly's known for being a, a pretty rowdy fan base. Yeah. You know, so yeah. All so right. in the championship games, we'll start in the AFC. One seed Ravens, two seed Chiefs. I think the Ravens finally get over the hump and go to the Super Bowl. All right. I just, I just feel like, it just feels like they're due. I feel, like, I feel like they at least they've been due Lam- for a while. With Lamar Jackson, have to go. Yeah, I would hope they, they if they played again, they get, I would they hope get, they would not look like they did last they year. They get that revenge. Yeah, you learn from your mistakes. You're going to be at home because they're my one seed, and also for the Chiefs, we've never seen a three peat. Is there? I mean, is there more team that can do it in the Chiefs this year? Yeah, it's. You know. I think it's. Yeah, it's really up in the air. But um, for the, for who that next contender is, yeah. I'm kind of going with history because mm-hmm. I mean, if Mahomes pulls us off and it's a three P, that'd be insane. Yeah, I think and, even if they're playing for the Super Bowl again, that's fucking wild. Yeah, yeah. it's insane. I just there uh, the Ravens. It's the, I think it's going to be their time to at least make it to the Super Bowl. I would root for that. I mean, I, I think. Uh, I think Lamar has been such an amazing player in the NFL. He deserves something yeah. like that. Yeah. And then the NFC Championship, which is a, for me, rematch of the divisional round, which was also a great game, Niners Packers. Oh, yeah. Niners Packers. And I have your Niners going back <laughs> to the Super Bowl. I do. Shit. I do. Because when the Niners are the one seed in that stadium, they have not. They don't lose. They haven't lost. Yeah. They haven't lost. That's fair. That's fair. I'm just saying. All right, my uh, championship game outcomes. I got the so the the Bengals are gonna be hosting the Chiefs. The only guy we've seen beat uh, Patrick Mahomes in the uh, in the playoffs. Well, other than Tom Brady, in the, Joe a- in the AFC playoffs. True. Yes. Well, in the playoffs. Because, well, in the playoffs. Yeah, 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 because Tom Brady was on the Bucks. Yeah. The other time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is Joe Burrow? And well, I, no, 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 no. Well, Tom Brady also beat him. In, on the Patriots. That's what I'm saying, but I'm just saying the only quarterback that's beat him is Tom Brady in the playoffs. And right? Joe Burrow. Other than Joe Burrow. Oh, got you. Okay. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so I am going to say that Joe Burrow is going to be healthy for the playoffs this year, obviously, <laughs> because I'm predicting him to get this far. And he's going to be there to uh, to stun uh, Patty and keep him from that. But is it a stunner? Is it a stunner, though, for the one seed and the Chiefs, the five seed for you? Well, I mean, I guess, you could argue no, but I think just like even if the if the Chiefs are in the in the uh, AFC Championship game again, I think it's going to be really hard to bet against them. Yeah, just especially given what they did last year, because they were the dogs for sure, mm-hmm. and they still went out and handled business, and of course won the Super Bowl eventually. Yeah, but I got uh, I got Joe Joey Burrow getting back to his second Super Bowl uh, on the NFC side. I I wanted to pick the Lions really badly to to go to the Super Bowl, but the thought of them going into Philadelphia in in uh, late January, it didn't didn't seem reasonable yeah. to pick them. So I'm going with the Eagles to get back to the Super Bowl a couple years later and uh, give it another shot. Okay. All right. Who do you, who's your Super Bowl champion, my friend? <laughs> Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl L I X, aka Super Bowl Forty Nine, I believe. Forty. No, it's definitely it's beyond fifty. Oh no, fifty nine. Excuse me. Yes. Yes. Fifty nine. Sorry. I got your Niners over the Ravens. Oh, boy. <laughs> I got Niners over the Ravens, but rematch of Super Bowl 47, 48. It was 2013, so it was probably Super Bowl 48. 48, yeah. 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 I got him 34, 31. Jake Moody, game winning. Jake field goal. Moody. Coming up clutch. Shakes Moody. <laughs> Shakes Moody. Game winning field goal. And the reason why I picked the Niners, I know Sal's going to f- absolutely just hate this. Yeah. And I'm glazing, like he likes to say. <laughs> Because this, to me, and the Niners are going to be in the mix for a while after this season. Yeah. But with the Brock Purdy contract that's going to it's looming. get paid next yeah. year, this, I can argue, has to be the year for the Niners to actually get over the hump and do it. Yeah. Because if it's not this year... It should have been last year. <laughs> well, it should have been last I mean, yeah, you can debate that too. But I just, I think Kyle Shanahan 
is is feeling the pressure. Yeah. And I think the players are feeling the pressure. And I think is I think honestly, as long as they don't have to play the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, they have a chance. Well, I would like yeah, I would like their chances because you know you give Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes two weeks to yeah. prepare for whoever it is. Yeah. You're gonna like the. But also, too. but that's also saying you know, preparing for John Harbaugh and Lamar Jackson is also not. No, it's not. not I wouldn't say it's easy, but by any means, no. no. A, a coach that has won a Super Bowl, right. unlike Kyle Shanahan. I just don't. I wouldn't put that duo no, 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 in no. the same. Yes, I agree. Yeah, same category. But you still got to fear them. Yeah. You're not going to be like, oh, it's... Oh, it wouldn't be, no. It would not be a walk in the park. Like, oh, it's, not, it's Dan Campbell of J- Jared Goff. No. Like, no, it's, no. Not, it's not that kind of thing. No. But I hate to do it, but it just, in my heart, I feel like this is the year that they have to... They have to do it this year. Kind this, of feels that way. This has to be the year. This has yeah. to be... I mean... All chips pushed in, in yeah. on the table. I, I'm just feeling like last year was the year, and, like, there's there's a there's just a real possibility of letdown this season. Which is why I don't even have the Niners in the championship game. I don't yeah. know. Okay. I'm, I, I have some weird feelings about this year. Especially, like, if the offseason was smooth, like, Brandon Ayuk signed right away, Trent Williams back on back yeah. on board, Ricky Pearsall's not getting shot. <clears throat> um, uh, you know, it would be a different story. But it just has not been not been a smooth offseason. The only positive, I think, is that Brock had a full offseason being healthy and, mm-hmm. you know, doing all the offseason programs yeah. and whatnot. He didn't. Really play that great yeah. in preseason, but that's preseason. I'm not going to put a lot of stock in it. But uh, we'll see. Also, Christian McCaffrey is still dealing with the calf, is- calf issue. So see how that plays out. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I hate, I hate to do it, but it's just it's it's what I feel. Hey, I feel like it, it has to be this year. I mean, I I, I don't disagree. Because what that. are they going to throw at Brock next year? Fifty five million. Probably going to have to. I, I like. Well, I mean, if he wins the Super Bowl, it's like give anything. Oh wins. yeah, I wouldn't give a fuck. Even give, if he give makes seventy, it, even, if he, <laughs> even if he makes it, it's like you gotta give. Like, you're gonna give. Oh, you have to keep riding that. You yeah. have to. You yeah. have to. Yeah, like you go back to back Super Bowls. There's just so many variables that I put into it, and I did ask you yesterday. I was like, "What?" While I was making my predictions, what do I do about Jamar Chase and Trent Williams? Because they're not signed. They're not yeah. playing. You made a good point about Jamar Chase that he's. Not really on contract. Like, yeah. yeah, like he's holding out, but like technically he has another year yeah. of, on this contract. I made I made these picks based off of Trent Williams. Presuming, yeah, presuming. I think he's gonna play. He's, like he's gonna play. I, it wouldn't do him any favors to just not play. Like no. you're just gonna lose money. He's not gonna make the money that he's yeah. owed for this year. So it's not like the Niners are gonna fucking yeah. cut him. <laughs> yeah, thirty four, thirty one is what I'm doing. All right, Niners. All right, I know, I, know, I know you hate it, but I'm doing it. Well, I'm trying to think of a score. Bengals beating the... Oh, I didn't... Did I put my prediction in? No. No, I, I haven't. So, in the Super Bowl, <laughs> I have the Bengals beating the, okay. the Eagles. Did you have the Bengals win last year, too? I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to run it back, but I was like, you know what? I think that's going to be my best... Because I didn't want to pick the Chiefs this year. I, I think I it would have been an easy pick. The three... No, the three... No, I don't think it is. Yeah. The three-peat thing well, that too. like... Yeah. You, you, You've never seen it. Like, it's easy, but it's not. You know, because obviously they're going to be the favorites, or one of the favorites again. Yeah. Um, but it's really hard to do, which is why I went with the Bengals. I felt like they were best suited to beat the Chiefs, you know, if everything goes right. Of course, I'm, I'm banking on Joe Burrow coming back and being as good as he has ever been, you know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think uh, – I really don't love the fact that I'm putting the Eagles in the Super Bowl because I think they're – they're in a really like volatile position with you know coach quarterback situation not being not being a great relationship yeah. at least that's what it sounds like, um, but uh, but yeah I got the Bengals taking it yeah once again back to back years hopefully I didn't jinx them again <laughs> my boy Joe Burrow all right awards let's hand them out okay. who you got MVP uh, I'll list them off MVP your boy Joe Burrow yes I, I think he's due yep I think he's due. Uh, defense player of the year. I picked him last year. I'm gonna pick him again this year. Micah Parsons. Yeah, okay. A little bit of a homer pick. Yeah, I but, think it's a good pick though. But you know, it's Miles Garrett won last year. I think T.J. Watts won it in the past, also, right? Yep. And I know you can win it multiple times, but Micah Parsons is just if the pass rusher. It's pretty much a pass yeah. rusher award nowadays. I thought about Sauce Garner, but winning it as a yeah, you gotta have a and, monster. Unless you're like Darrell Rebus, who I think might have won it. I don't even know if he did. Yeah. He may have, but yeah. But like, you got to really, really, yeah, yeah. yeah, really score like eight touchdowns. Uh, <laughs> offensive rookie of the year, I'm picking Caleb Williams. I think that's kind of the the pick. Yep. That's fair. Defensive rookie of the year, I do not know this guy, but I looked him up. Dallas Turner, okay. Vikings yep. linebacker. Yeah, well, he's from, uh, did he go to Bama? I he, think he did. Yeah, okay. pretty much sure he went to Bama. Yeah. And then yeah. co- coach of the year. 
Your boy. Jimbo. Jim Harbaugh. Nice. Jim Harbaugh. We have very... Uh, we have three picks that are the same. Okay. I'm taking Joe Bird to win MVP as well. <laughs> of course. Dream, and then you picked him last year? Dream too? season. It's going to happen this year, Joe. I might have to buy a jersey now. Would you pick the <laughs> Bengals coach winning coach of the year? I season? did not. I did okay. not choose that one. He might win it, though, if, if everything goes the way I expect. You're a borderline uh, Bengals glazer, I think, at this point. <laughs> so, based off last year's? I know, right? Yeah. I, I don't want to be, but it's just the way it's worked out. Although, I do think that they have uh, some of my favorite uniforms in all of sports. Well, I mean... The stripes on the helmets? Like... Are you, the, the whites on whites on whites? But are you also biased because it's orange and black and you're a Giants fan? No, but uh, that doesn't... I'm, I wouldn't say that hurts. Okay. Because, like, I do think orange is a... It's a touchy color. You, like, you got to be careful with it. Yeah. Because if you do too much, no bueno. Giants Orange Fridays. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Got it. So, Joe Burrow MVP, my defensive player of the year. It might be kind of random, but I'm going with Aiden Hutchinson. I like that one. Yeah, from Detroit. Uh, I'm taking Caleb to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. Thought about going going with uh, Jalen Daniels, Jaden Daniels. Daniels, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, no, I'm going with Caleb. I actually think a lot of people are picking the the Bears to go to the playoffs. So I think that's a real possibility. What I just is, think they're in a really tough division. What did you have them? How many games did you have? Them I got them winning nine. Uh, I think I had. Uh, yeah, I got them winning nine. I got them winning seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I was like between eight and nine. They're they're over under. Uh, bad MGM, 9.5 wins. What did you have the Commanders winning? With you got them at 8. Got them 6. Yeah. Okay. yeah, they're over under with 6.5. We're, we're not too far off. Yeah. Uh, my Defensive Rookie of the Year, I had a tough time with this one, but I'm going with Byron Murphy of the second. He's uh, Seattle's first-round draft pick, defensive tackle. Okay. Playing with uh, Mike McDonald, new uh, new coach, former defensive coordinator. Of the I looked at the odds, and I was like, I don't know any of these fucking names. I know, right? I don't. Was Turner number one? He might have been. Or up there, probably Latu, Latu, Latu. Latu, Latu, Latu or no, he was number one, I think. One, and then yeah. number two was Dallas. Uh, <clears throat> Dallas yeah. Turner. I thought about going with Latu, but I was like, I, I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, just going with a random motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, and then Coach of the Year, Jim Harbaugh. That's where we uh, agree again. Okay. I mean, if Jim Harbaugh went 12 games with this roster, <laughs> I know Justin Herbert's good, but after that, like, who the fuck you got? Um, I think that would... Uh, oh, I have them at 12 wins. That's why I'm saying that. Yep. Um, okay. uh, I think he yeah. would have to win Coach of the Year. Okay. <coughs> what do you have the Cowboys winning? Got them at 10 wins. Okay. You, yeah. what, what do you have? 9? 9 8. Which yeah. also is what I had them when we did the. Oh, the schedule yeah. release? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, also, I'm glad I remembered. I almost forgot. Gage's guarantees. Oh, baby! Hey. They are back. I think. <laughs> they are back. And I had. I have two games I really felt like they were absolutely. Before before you put everything on the line, what are you what are you putting on the line? Okay, do you want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I okay, want to know so, what you got in mind. Like for the drink? Yeah. So we did the two eleven. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Do yeah, that's fine. We Not did buzz balls anymore. last year, right? And I didn't mind the buzz ball. I think the buzz ball is safe. But do you want to try something different? I feel like it'd be fun to switch it up. Okay. Um, Should we ask the people? Like we give them a few options. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, let's like, do that. Like, just say, like, Gage's guarantees this year. And we give them, like, three options to pick from. Or they could or they could say what they think or, we should do. Uh, well, I think it'd be easier if we just did, like, a poll of, like, a few options. Okay. You know? Or that, yeah, that, or... I was thinking that, or, like I said, like, someone could, like, right type in. in what they want. But yeah. When it comes to drinks. Like, it's not right. gonna, I'm not going to, like, put hot sauce in my eye. <laughs> like, anything like that. Yeah. Because um, Buzzball, like, I, I, I'd be okay with sticking with that, but I'd also, if you want the fans to pick... That's fine. Have you heard of Malort? No. It's. <laughs> I wish we could find some. It's this. Uh, it's this liqueur that's really popular in Chicago. Yeah. I think it's. I don't know where it's from. It might be French or something like that. Yeah. But anyways, it's supposed to be really gnarly. Yeah. I wish we could get some of that. On I mean, I, I don't know where to find. I mean, it, I mean, we could also do like. Like I can get like some kind of really nasty liquor or like some MD twenty two or oh man <laughs> that would be Mad fun. Dog twenty twenty that would be fun you know we can do right, that let's let's create let's come up with some ideas and we'll off the air and then uh, we'll post we'll, it on Instagram we'll, yeah yeah we'll do that we'll do a poll okay cool so the guarantees I'm gonna have I had two but I had three last year and so I'm gonna stick with three again perfect the first two are the first half of the season and then the last one is closer to the end of the season so Got I think it. it'd be you know good balance week three. Against the Ravens, the Cowboys are not winning that football game. That's going to be a tough one. Is that at home or on the road? I think they're at home, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're at home. Uh, I'll be surprised. Niners, week eight. The Cowboys are not winning that football game. I knew you would pick that one again. Uh, I mean, that's it's the probably the easiest pick for me, being that the Cowboys just cannot 
beaten that. They haven't proven it in a while. No. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And then the fringe one that I'm going to put on there, it's going to be Monday night in Arlington. Joe Burrow, your boy, our boy, MVP. <laughs> our boy. <laughs> week 14, so after eight, after week eight, it'll be a little bit of a stretch. Yep. Which is probably good for me if it's Mad Dog 2020 I'm <laughs> <Right>. drinking. <laughs> week 14, the Bengals are guaranteed, book it, going to beat the Cowboys. Do you remember where that game is? Is that Dallas or Cincy? Oh, it's Monday night in Dallas. Oh, in Dallas, okay. Yeah. Well, I said right. Arlington, but yeah. yeah. So I got, yeah, Gage's guarantees. Almost almost forgotten. I would have been really sad if I did. I uh, know. Because that's like one of the, it's a fun, Yeah. I like doing it. Because I think last year, let's see, I have it still. I was wrong. I really feel, feel like you should put this week's game on. <laughs> Against the well, there was a few. I'm kidding. There was a few. There was the the Browns, like the Browns game. I did think about it. The Lions game, the weekend of the wedding that we're going to be at. Yep. The Texans game too, but like the, the Ravens Niners for sure were yeah. like no doubters. And I threw the Bengals in there just because I feel like prime time Cowboys are going to get let down. Yeah. My gauge guarantees last year were <laughs> week two against the Jets. And they they won easily, right? Because well, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers was out. Yeah, yeah. so that was. <laughs> that one. That but was then bad. I had I had week five against the Niners. That was obviously a loss. Yeah. And then the Bills. Wait, what was the score again? It was bad, <laughs> like forty-two to ten. Yeah, was bad. And then uh, I had week fifteen against the Bills, and they got smoked. Oh so, yeah, yeah, that was bad. That was a good call. So I only had to drink one Buzz Ball, which is good for me. Yeah. And I did, that and you did, got it out of the way early. I did the year before too. Did I start last year? Let's see. I might have started doing it for the first time. Well, I, I put Cowboys predictions. I don't think I wrote it down. I think we did it. We no, did it I, together in twenty twenty two. Because I had no. Because that's when I drank the the two elevens. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we, we did, did it together in two twenty twenty two. Yeah, yeah. And then you did it alone last year, and so this is your number three. Oh, because okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we'll let you guys know what I have to drink. <laughs> yeah. Or give you the option. Yeah. Which I think is fun. I think yeah, I think that will be fun.